today I'm gonna be sewing, I'm gonna be cross stitching, I'm probably gonna be screwing up a lot. In other words, I'm making a custom Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch dog cover. Damn, it's long. Okay, so while I was waiting for my Switch to come, I looked through some accessories because, you know, why not spend even more money? And one of the highly recommended one was a dog cover to protect this big, precious screen when you put it in this harsh dock. I have a sewing machine and even with my very poor sewing skills, I figured it's easy enough for me to sew. You know, it's just a rectangle. And then I realized that this big flat surface is screaming for some cross stitching. And choosing a theme was easy because I got my Switch specifically for playing Animal Crossing. So what else could I cross stitch there? Animal Crossing is a very wholesome game, but I find it really funny how Tom Nook is just the king of your life there. And basically you just take loans and have to pay it back to him. And I've been seeing these kind of memes with him telling you Rihanna's bitch better have my money. And I just really wanted to cross stitch that anyway. So I thought it would be a great idea to put it on my duck cover. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I started with making a pattern. I just found a picture of Tom Nook that I liked in Google and imported it to the stitch fiddle. By default it's 100 by 100 stitches, but I knew that I had to go a lot smaller, so I put 59 by 59. I checked switches measurements in inches and because I wanted to use a 14 count ADA, which basically means 14 stitches per inch, I multiplied the measurements by 14 and I got the size in stitches. It was 57 by 95. I made my working grid the same size, so I had a good idea of how much space I had. Then I opened my downloaded picture for reference and started to make my pattern more stitchable. I also decided to change Tom's eyelids so he looks angry and I didn't record that, but I also wanted to make a little pointing gun in his hand. I know it's not really obvious what it is, but what can I say, it's hard to make a gun on 6 pixels. Then it was time for the text. My idea was to make better have my money smaller in the middle, so I started with that and I quickly realized that the font I wanted to go for was too wide, so it wasn't gonna happen, so I just improvised with some narrow letters. Then I did bitch and money big and bold. After that I thought that it would be displayed at my home, so maybe I would just censor it a bit by replacing one letter with bells, obviously from Animal Crossing 2. So I looked for some bells pixel art online and made something similar. And that was it! For the materials, obviously I used a fabric. To be honest, I know nothing about fabric and what kind is good for what projects, so I just went to my local store and told them what I wanted to make and they recommended this thicker one that I have no idea what is the name of. Besides that, I used basic sewing supplies like scissors, tailor's chalk, you can use a pencil, a ruler and set square, pins and a sewing machine, but you can easily hand sew it. For the cross stitching part, I went for a black 14 count Ada, floss matching my pattern, scissors, needle, a needle threader and an embroidery hoop. I started with the most time consuming part, which is cross stitching, obviously. I first cut a piece of Ada significantly bigger than my dock and marked the center of it. The center of my design happened to be on the text, so I started there. And the rest is pretty straightforward. Because I used a black canvas, I had to change the text color, but besides that I did everything just as on the pattern.
Oh, I also made an outline for the bells to make it pop up a little more because this black outline is not at all visible on Black Ada. When it was finally done I ironed it and it was so time. First I measured my switch again and I added extra 1.5 cm in the width and also length and 1 cm seam allowance. Final measurements were 21 by 23 cm. I decided to draw all the lines so it is easier to sew straight and there is one extra line because I screwed up and forgot about seam allowance. I overcasted all the edges and then I turned the edge on one side under, the one that will be inside the dock. Then I sewed it all together with my cross stitch in the way that the seam would be invisible. Then I pinned the sides and checked if it fits. It did, so I proceeded with sewing it. At the end I turned under the last edge so it was all just on point. You can obviously pin it and then sew it all together but I don't trust my sewing abilities enough to do it like that and yay it was done! I washed the chalk off and I ironed it again and look at that! Okay, so my dog cover is done. I really like it. I'm actually very proud of myself. I will put all the materials in the description below and if you want to use my pattern then let me know in the comments and I will try to put it online somewhere. Also, if you liked it then make sure to hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more needlecraft content like this. And I think that's it for today. So see you in the next one. Bye!